All right, I'm back, guys. Here it is after nine days. You can see the algae building up. New viewers, I went away for a vacation, nine days. Just kept everything functioning with water top off. Fish didn't get to eat. They're probably starved, but everything looks really good and it worked out. See the algae build up? This used to look like this before I left. This was like this before I left. And this was like this before I left. And this was like this before I left. and a half. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, I'm back finally. It was hard not sending up videos. That's why I did a little vlogging. So it was a great vacation. I'll show you a little bit. I don't want to scare new viewers away. I'll show you a little bit of what I did. I'll do that in between. Today what we're going to do is you saw what happened when I came back to the 10 gallon, which is right down here. And it really kind of exploded with some hair algae, not because of vacation, just because it's probably high nutrients. So I'm gonna show you how I remove hair algae the natural way. It's not quick and easy like you see in videos. It takes time, it may take weeks. And the way I'm going to do it by water change, going in manually and removing some and doing a couple other things. So let's get into the video and I'll show you what we got going. All right. We're going into the aquarium and Pula, Croatia, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. Now, keep in mind, a lot of the displays in here are from the Adriatic Sea. So we're going to be seeing some things that are indigenous to the Adriatic. Locks, anemones. This aquarium must be a couple hundred years old, guys. Look at this. Finally. couple different types of brushes. This one, you want to use bristly brushes, guys, because if they're too soft, it won't scrape the hair algae off. You want to have some small ones to get into smaller areas. And sometimes it's good to bend one. This is on my scraper. And if you bend it in different angles, you can kind of move it around and get it in there. All right, as you can see here, guys, it's come in in the same spots that it's always been coming in around these mushrooms. This is now high flow area, but it's still in the crevices. So I'm gonna go in with the brush. I really don't like to take stuff out unless I have to. So I'd rather let the corals grow. They're growing, but they're kind of suffocating a little. So let me go in and work on the brush and get a little of this out. 
I'm going in guys. This right here is really bothering me. So the other thing I'm going to use that I just forgot to show you. Forceps, big forceps. These really clamp on it. I like these better than my long tweezers. The tweezers don't have enough gripping power on the end because they're long. These clamp really close. So I also use these too. All right, so I'm going in with this first. These are the forceps. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll go in and try not to obviously, see this is a loose rock. All right, see right there. Guess what that tells me? I didn't glue it well enough, whoops. And then this is one, this is gonna be one I'm gonna take out. So let's do that right now. If you come to Croatia, guys, make sure you're ready to walk. Unbelievable, huh? Oh my gosh. This is a town, guys. People wake up and see this every morning. And this is a little cafe here. This is our view from our table. That's my wife's yeah, in Croatia. Yeah, you know how it's like I mean, I would never be here if my wife was not from Croatia. I would have never seen this. And we're headed down. What a day. I'll take this out in a small amount of salt water and a small container and scrape it off and then I'll have to put it back in. So I'll show you how I do that. All right, here we go. All right, so you guys have seen this before. I got RODI mixing up. Here's my RODI. All right, here's some fresh salt water, about 10 gallons that I made last night. I kept some live rock in here from Fish Guy Mike's. and I didn't use it in the five gallon setup. So I have fresh water in here. I'll take a little bit out of this and I'll use that to scrape off the rocks and anything I have to take out of the uh, 10 gallon tank. I'm gonna pour some of this in here, this extra bucket. All right, so there you go. Just enough, you know, maybe a half gallon, maybe a gallon in there. All right, so let's bring this in the other room. All right, so I'm gonna take it out with the tweezers. I don't like to get my hands in the tank as much as I can. I've told you that, guys, before. All right, and then I'll get one of these brushes. You know, this is the second time that I've done this. See, there's still some hanging on there, and I can't go crazy with the scrub brush. That's where your cleanup crew would come in. So I'm gonna siphon out the rest of the hair algae in here, guys. Scrape some off the rocks. All right, so I'm gonna go in there with the siphon now. Siphon a little off the top of the sand bed. More brush, more everything, and then water change. We're on the road again, guys. Smallest city in the world, Sylvia and I. The world. 
check it out right now. This is the church, obviously. They gotta have some type of church. This is just the church. Now, come on, some people have to live around here. Oh, obviously they don't use this anymore. Oh, here we go. Right here we went through it. it. Took us about 30 seconds to walk through it. The only picnic table in the whole town. There's Sylvia, my wife. The only lamppost in the town. 28 people live in home. Here's the gift shop, guys. Okay, so there is a gift shop, nice. Look at this, hello! Okay, beautiful, thank you. Do you want to try our traditional brandy? My wife says yes to the truffles and brandy. Here she comes. <laughs> Sylvie's explaining that I'm American, that I'm the silly guy, but that's okay. I'm trying to truffle with a little olive dip. I just had some Croatian brandy. It was delicious. She offered to go outside. It goes out on this terrace. We're drinking more brandy. So you could stay here. There's an apartment you can rent. Colmo. The only cat in here. Check him out. Well, that's it guys, so ends the day in the smallest town in the world. Nothing looks good with the tank when it gets to this level, guys. You just have to bear with it and know that in the near future, it's gonna look perfect. It's just not a fun thing to do. This is about a 50% change, and I may do this twice this week, you know, just to try to starve this algae out. It's a little disappointing, but that's the way it goes with reef keeping. You gotta deal with it sometimes. All right, so here we go. See what I'm doing here? This might have some detritus collected in it. I cleaned this last night, and you can see already how much went over when I did my glass. So I'm gonna pull all that stuff out and vacuum this out. All right, there it is. After the water change, just after. I just finished it. I siphoned the overflow back here, put new filter floss in. There's nothing I can do that's funny about hair algae, guys. You know, puts you in a bad mood. So how can I do funny stuff during hair algae explosions? It's gonna take me a month to get rid of it. Water change twice a week. It looks terrible, the tank looks bad. There's nothing good about hair algae. And then I can't even be funny in my videos. But still waving around in there, blowing around on the rocks. I don't have enough hermit crabs or snails. I don't know. I learned my lesson. Because I didn't do enough water change. I was going by my parameters. You can't go by your parameters, guys. If you start seeing hair algae come up, nip it in the bud or you're going to be doing what I'm doing. I let it go, let it go, the bubble algae, I let it go a little, let it go, and it's all over now. I have bubble algae too. You know what really stinks about it is it doesn't affect the corals at all. Like most of the corals look really good. It's just growing all over, around them, between them. Now they just look horrible. They just look horrible now. My poor zoas are all closed up because I was on them with the brush. New reefers, don't quit.
you can get rid of it. But it will want to make you quit. But I'm going to get rid of it. I am.